Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math all on paid algebra problem. So here we have uh, t cubed and its whole square root is equal to square root of 216 and we solve this problem for the values of t. So in order to find the value of t, first we need to eliminate this square root on both of the sides. So that in order to eliminate the square root on both of the sides, we need to take the squares on both of the sides. Uh, so uh, in order to eliminate the square root, we will be written as t cubed uh, square root and its whole square is equals to 216 and its whole square. So further in the next step we have we just cancel this term this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 this 2 is cancelled out by this square root and we will get here this is t cubed is equals to 216 and here uh, we know that uh, 216 is equals to 6 cubed so we replace this 216 equals to 6 cubed so that our above expression is written as t cubed equals to 6 cubed. And now we move this 6 cubed in the left hand side. It will be written as t cubed minus 6 cubed equals to 0. So further in the next step here we will just apply the nice cubic formula. So first we state the cubic formula as a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and you see here we have the value of our a is t the value of our b is 6 and uh, when we put these two values in the below formula our above equation is written as first you have a minus b the value of our a is t minus the value of b is 6 into again the value of a is t so it will becomes t square plus a b again the value of a is t and value of b is 6 and plus the value of b is 6 it will become 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as t minus 6 times of this is t square plus this 6 times of t is equals to 6 t plus this 6 square is equals to 36 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we write t square plus 60 plus 36 is equals to 0. Now from first case we easily get the value of t is equals to 6. So this is the our first real root of the given equation. Uh, and now here we need to solve this quadratic equation. Uh, so you very well know about how to solve the quadratic equation uh, with t variable. So we know that there are three ways to solve the quadratic equation. The first method is by factorization method. The second is completing square method and the third one is by using the quadratic formula. So here first, uh, here we just solve this quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula. So for this we first write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to 6 and c is equals to 36. And we state the quadratic formula as t is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the over quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute uh, the above values of a, b and c in the below formula and after substituting the values it will be written as 
t is equals to this is minus b the value of b is 6 it will become minus 6 plus minus square root of b square so b is 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 36 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and this is expression is written as t is equals to this is minus 6 plus minus uh, square root of this 6 square equals to 36 minus this is 4 multiplied by 36 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as t is equals to this is minus 6 plus minus uh, here we take common 36 and we get the remaining values are when you take common this 36 we obtain here 1 minus here we get uh, 4 only and it is divided by 2 so further in the next step uh, here we have t is equals to this is minus 6 plus minus uh, here we know that square root of 36 is equals to 6 and 1 minus 4 is equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2 and now here further in the next step we have t is equals to this is minus 6 and plus minus 6 times here we will just apply the square root on both of these values and it will be written as square root of 3 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and now you see here we have t is equals to minus 6 plus minus 6 times of square root of 3 and we know that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so now in the next step we need to break this fraction and we write these two separately on both of these values and it will be written as minus 6 over 2 plus minus 6 times of square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and now we cancel this term this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6 and we get t is equals to minus 3 plus minus this 2 times of 3 is also 6 and we get 3 times of square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex values of the given equation. So finally we have the three roots of the given equation are these are the two complex root and t is equals to 6 be the one real root of the given equation. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.